Welcome to Revisit It. I am JP here on Learn Brizzy. And one of the videos we had posted on the official Brizzy channel for YouTube is one from yesterday. And today is the 18th. Create a split menu in your header. And what I had seen in the comments, actually two things that I overlook and I want to quickly do it here in the Revisit. So if you have no idea what this video is about, go and watch this one and I'll drop a link to this video in the description below. And in this one, we're going to look at what Coffee Hayford had asked. How does it work on mobile? I think it will have two menu icons. And indeed, it will have two menu icons. So I want to revisit that and fix it. So what we had done is we had created this menu here within the Brizzy Pro. This is a Brizzy Pro menu that we had used here. Actually, two menus and a Brizzy Pro header. And the question that Kofi had asked means that here I have a menu on this side and here I have a menu on this side. What happens when I go into mobile? And he's 100% correct. Look what happens when we go into mobile. We're going to get two hamburger menus, right? And that is not ideal because we, of course, nobody wants that. So what can we do with this? Let me just close this one and I'm going to leave it open and we jump back into Google. Right, so here's our page. Let's go and edit the page within Brizzy because that's where we started. And I'll go into mobile over here so we can see what we're going to do. Now, one of the things that you can do, and this is always an option, always an option. I don't love this option, but unfortunately, I do use it occasionally. And that is to duplicate your header like so. And then you go to the second header. Go to settings, more settings, and then under advanced, you say show on desktop and it will be removed. It's still there. And if you want to see it again, just go here to your settings in the bottom right hand corner, click here on the eye and you will see it appear and it's blurred out. That shows you that it is there, but it isn't there. You cannot see it and a visitor will not see it. Let me save this and just quickly show you that I am not indeed lying to you. Let's go and view it on the front end and you will see that there is only one header. The other one is hidden. Good. But before we do that, let's go back and deactivate that and I'll show you what we are going to do here for this first option. What we are going to do here is we're going to create just one menu. So what I will do, let's go and delete this column, delete. And then over here, I'm going to bring in just one menu. Problem is that I have created two menus, left menu and a right menu. So before I can do that, I will need to go and create one uniform menu. And if you are lost, please go and check the video first. Update this. I'm going to exit to the dashboard so that we can go to the menu and create that one menu. It is something that you will have to do. Let's go to appearance menus over here. And then go select the menu. No, we create a new menu because we want that consolidated menu. And I'm going to call it main menu because that's what I do if I only have one main menu. And then we add all our pages there. So view all, I'm going to click select all and add them. And then let's just put a little bit of contact down here. Offers maybe there, dining here, room activities. Okay, and that's good enough for us. So save the menu. Back to the front end and I click up here to take us to the front end. And then we have, as you can see, these two. So I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to make some changes here. Edit page with Brizzy. Where's my coffee? I'll just bring that a little bit closer. Go to this one. Let's just reduce the size again of this one over here and I'll make a different menu. And then for this one, Go to our menu settings here, hamburger menu, and we select main menu. Now we have all of them and I can drag it out like this. Let's just position it. Which one is it? Over here to the right. And now we just save it. And what we do now is go into our settings over here. More settings is for the second block and I'm going to deactivate it for this desktop display. I'll just put it here on view so we can see that it's there, but it isn't there. Let's jump down now to mobile. So on mobile, we have two. And this is where you probably understand what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make this one good for mobile. So we feel good about that. 
and I'm dragging this one out all the way here. Click on it and wait, settings over here. Ah, let me just drag it back first and Oh, that was quite a challenge. Okay, and now I'll drag it out all the way here. Okay, so I've created this and then I'll go to this one and I'll just click here and it will deactivate it. So if I say here, disable that, this is how it will display. Let's update that and I'll go to Blisk Browser. I'm jumping between browsers. I'm going to refresh here. And you should see nothing happen on the front end for my home page because we still kept this menu, but we've hidden the other one. But when I go into my mobile display, I should see this one now. Right, so this is way number one that you can solve that problem. Like I said, I'm not too crazy about this way because you're actually creating two parts of information that your site is loading. And if it's a huge intensive site, you are essentially creating extra data that is loaded. Let's see if we can find a second workaround for this. So what I'll do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to keep this baby up there. And now when we go into mobile view, let me just also activate this one again. This is what I'm going to do next. I'll go to this column and I will deactivate that. But what I'll do here is I'm going to make it go away. I'll go here and I will also put this one to the right. I'm going to reduce this size and put this on the left. Now the column, why the column hasn't disappeared? I would have liked the column to disappear, but it should disappear, should disappear. And then what I'll do is, now I cannot get again to this one. Click on the menu, no, Ugh, same thing. Um, let's first get here to the menu. Your menu should be responsive. So now if I choose main menu, Let's see if it's going to affect everything or just this one. Ooh. Okay. Hair triggers, hair triggers. Let's update that. Let's go to our front end. We're going to reload this page. And let's see how this baby turned out. But you can see that it isn't responsive because here we have changed that menu. And that is something that I'll raise with the guys because in mobile, you shouldn't be able to change things that aren't responsive, but unfortunately that one is. This one is not going to be a solution then. The only solution at this moment, if you are looking at it, is to go and do two blocks like I had mentioned and shown you earlier. Go ahead, duplicate this one, and then what you do over here is that you delete this one, make this one smaller, and create a total separate one and then put this on the main menu also to the right similar to what we had done earlier and then go ahead and we again just hide this one so I hope that is a solution to this situation if you are creating a split menu in the Brizzy Pro header Going back to the video, another question from Batcat Design. Strange that Bloxy shows menu one and menu two in their builder, yet displays menu one on both sides of the logo on the live site. This is because JP screwed up while he made the video. So check out the video for the revisited on this one, and you will understand how to solve this problem and not be a fool like I had been.